you need your buddy. What? It's a live in studio event, y'all. Live in studio on your hip hop nation. I go by the name of Tor Ray. That's total radness on the one and two's hand of rag. Hey, I always appreciate when someone uses the hashtag. You I might mean, be one of the first in like a professional media it's setting. It's about the branding. You got to keep the branding going. loyal. We yeah loyal I mean? to the brand. Loyal to these brands <laughs> out here. Now, somebody that's loyal to getting it out the mud, loyal to a city, and loyal to this music thing is my guy Snooty Wild, who is hey, joining hey, the tour. Hey. What's up, <laughs> man? My G. Man, what to do, boss man? My glad to be here, man. Hey. She is dope on the ones and twos, man. Absolutely. Oh, man. Rocking, man. Y'all gonna make me blush. <laughs> I mean, it's Woman Crush Wednesday. It's only right. Exactly. Snooty is here. What's good, man? Man, working, man. You know what I'm saying? I see they got through playing and stacking and flipping it, man. I got some new heat coming out. You know, I've been laying low oh, back, and, back and forth overseas. Uh, doing shows back to back, uh, helping Big Bro got with his tours, what he got going on since the DM popped off, and now it's time for me to go and wake back up, man, get out there casket, man, and go on and take back over, man. It's no snooty, doubt, it's Snooty Wild, it's Snooty Wild's world, man. It's they time to go. It. It's go time. Hey, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I've, been, I've been hearing so many. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know who Snooty Wild is these days, man. You know what I'm saying? We so got a reminder, yeah, man. Exactly. I got to wake him back up. Let him know, man, that he come from the best, man, the best only Snooty Wild. And y'all already know who's the king of the eh, eh, eh. <laughs> So we finna take back over there. Of course, other than that, man, we got the new single that I'm finna debut. We got the new uh, 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 video that I just dropped with Kirk O'Banes, man. Come Around is a beautiful song. We got the uh, the concept off Poetic Justice. You, you want to do it? Wait, we got a whole hour, Snooty. Hold uh, on, uh, uh, baby. Man, you know, I'm, uh, hey, 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 <laughs> look, you know, I'm rocking with it. Now. I, I definitely like the Come Around video, man. And what what made y'all go with the with the Poetic Justice vibe and all that? You got you guys did an amazing job. Appreciate you were that, a great lucky. That. You know what I mean? He was a great Chicago. Appreciate that. You know what I mean? Y'all had the shorty had the braids right and all that. What made you decide to go with that that well, concept? Well, you know, first of all, we wanted to get back to Black History. You know, what I'm saying, of course, shout out to Tupac, mm-hmm. shout out to Janet Jackson. Jackson for even uh, debu- debuting that movie when it first came out. So, of course, the the song just just matched. It, you know what I'm saying? Like you look at if you look at the movie, how hard she was on Tupac on really coming around mm-hmm. and accepting him. You know what I'm saying? And ha- and the reason she had it, it went with who I am and and what I was delivering with the with the song Come Around. No doubt. So of course I was like, hey, let's put these two together. You know what I'm saying? Let's make it make sense. Yeah, yeah, it definitely. It came out to be a great video and it's a great song. Hey, shout out to everybody that's rocking with it. Definitely a fire make, joint. Might make sure y'all look out for it and keep checking it out. No doubt. Now is that off the the new album? Is that just a joint? What 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 does it come around off of? Yeah, right now we dropping singles out the singles, and we're building an album album up around it. Excuse okay. me. You know what I'm saying so. Of course, that's going to be on the album. Of course, and uh, we got the debut tomorrow of Beetlejuice. That also will be on the album. Oh, man, we got hits out the hits, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my head. Do you have Beetlejuice over there? Me. I got Beetlejuice over here, man. I heard, I heard it in the headphones. I don't want to spoil anything just it yet. It might have but... to be a different debut. We I mean, we might, I mean, we might have to go and drop that on. This is we hip-hop just nation. Skirt skirt we might have to first alert it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We're yeah. just going to have to drop it tonight, I think. Ball alert. That just have to happen. <laughs> 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 Listen, man. Sudi is here. Hit him up at Hip Hop Nation on that Twitter, that Instagram. Or, of course, 877-604-4746. We want to hear from y'all. We're going to let Hannah do what we do. We're going to get a performance. Form inside of Snooty, and we're gonna drop this brand new Beetlejuice record. I don't know what they uh, thought, but I know what we know. It's Hip Hop Nation, it's how we do it. I thought we were gonna keep it a surprise. <laughs> this studio event, y'all stay in tune. That's right, we live in studio right here on Hip Hop Nation, going all the way up. We got my all guy the way Wild joining us today. What up, Kate? Hey, 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 what it do, boss, man? Listen, that A is gonna be all over the place, man. Man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's already all over it's, the place. It's time, it's time. No, from the originator, though. There you go. From you know the, what I mean? From the, from the, from the, from the master. Itself, <laughs> from the mud, man. <laughs> now listen, since since Go Mo's dropped in that was 2014, and then last year you came back with the Ain't No Stopping Me. Right. What have you been doing in between that? Because that was damn near a year ago yeah, when man. you dropped the tape. Man, basically, like I said, man, I've been man, educating myself on this music business back and forth overseas. Shout out to Korea, shout out to Okinawa and Japan, man. They've been showing me love out there. That's a different type uh, of money over there, yeah, Snowy. Exactly, man. Passport it's, stamps. It's, it's different, different type of currency. Different type now, of everything. When, when you say, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> when you say educating yourself on the business, what do you mean by that? Go well, into detail. you know, as far as you know, say everybody know, man, music is 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 ninety percent business, and the rest of us entertaining. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying I think I conquered the entertaining part, man. The first year of me even dropping, right. you know, what I'm saying I think my music itself took off faster than than Snoop the Wild did. You know, right. what I'm saying so to to market yourself is 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 it takes 
a brand it takes a business you know what i'm saying it takes a business minded person to even set it up to even get the looks that you need far as not with your music being great but just with you as a person who are right. you because once the fans fall in love with you they want to know who are you you know what i'm saying who what are you doing out there you know what I'm saying? Who are you doing it with? You know what I'm saying? It's not just about having great music and then all on IG stun. Now I got money, I got cars, I got this. Now they want to know the life of Snooty Wild. Do, so do you feel what, like that's what that's what the return of Mr. Yayo is all about? Do you feel like the the records got outside of who Snooty Wild was? Did they get bigger than you? Or you know what I'm saying? Like were you because the records most were definitely, big? Most you, definitely. Okay. Most definitely. The, most definitely the record got it got got bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? And and of course that me coming straight from the projects, you know, and took off like a rocket like that, I had to basically bag back my bag my own stuff back, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And and fall back and, and, and get back to who I was and, and craft myself and learn the music and learn the music industry. Learn what the labels like, what they don't like, uh what they put up with, what they don't put up with, uh respecting that this is business and not personal because that's what majority of the artists is, don't understand that they get personal with this and when you get personal with this you lose yourself absolutely you know what I'm saying and if you can't do that you gotta understand that this business and as long as you know what you can do and what you what you capable of doing fuck the rest of it you know what I'm saying don't, don't, don't let it discourage you and, and discourage you and have you all left field on who you were before they even got you before mm -hmm. they even knew who Snooty Wild was never will I lose myself you know what I'm saying I'm always stay humble and always stay, stay who I am exactly. and that's why these new records coming back out just as heated as the old records was you know what I'm saying I feel like ain't no stopping me was just something that's put out there mm -hmm. for the fans you know because they was waiting mm -hmm. but you know and I can't I can't I can't disappoint my fans Absolutely. but it was very important to me to educate myself on what I was doing out here as far as just making hits true indeed true indeed because sometimes you make big records hit records and everything happens so fast you know what I'm saying and you never get a chance to catch up to what's going on with it so it's very smart for you to like you said you know back back Go back, get the business straight, understand what you're doing, understand what you want to put forth as a brand, as an artist, and all of that, exactly. and then take over the world. Exactly. How's the relationship with CMG? Oh, uh, man, it's great. You know what I'm saying? Big bro out there working. He just got his 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 number one out, his number one single uh, DM. Crazy. It's going Woo. crazy. Crazy. Man, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I salute Big Bro for that. Um, he's been on tour with Beyonce. Uh, right now, I think he's working in LA, you know what I'm saying, in Kanye West Studio. So, I've been out there with him a couple of days, you know, just checking things out and vibing with him. And he's ready to get back to work with me. You know what I'm so, saying? He's ready to he he already knew the music was there and he I guess he respected and understand what I was trying to do. True indeed. You know what I'm saying? So he allowed me to do it. True indeed. And now he see how I'm delivering my conversation with him on strategy on how to make this music blow on a different level than just doing it how everybody else does it. You know no what I'm saying? And he respected. I think he ready. To, he, it's not no think. He's ready to work. He's ready to go. That's what's so up. So he just as anxious as I am. And the people was ready, man. The people was ready. Hey. When I told him Snooty was coming yesterday, my Twitter started going crazy. Yo, make sure he got some new music, this and this and that. Now, you know, talking about Gotti real quick, because obviously in Memphis, you know, Gotti was doing what he was doing for years and tearing right. it down at home. And then he started to gain that national exposure. And then DM just took off and put him in a different place. Right. But does that teach you the patience that the understanding? Like it's not a it's it's, it's not a a, a a sprint. Oh wait, is it's a sprint marathon? How it's that not shit a go? sprint. It's a marathon. Yeah, that shit. Did, and, did it teach and, you that? And it's and it's true. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw that for myself. Like I said, when my music took off. You know, when I seen that how long Gotti been Big Brother Gotti been in the game, and the young pop like he never been though. Like he never left. Like mm -hmm. he, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just how the game go. You know, absolutely. You know. You know He's been he's been a dope artist. He's been he's been putting in plenty of work for years, and Dion pop off, and it's like a whole new Gotti. Absolutely. So most definitely, when I saw that, it made me just more comfortable on making sure. Okay, I don't have to rush this. You know, I don't have to to distract myself on. Do I need to drop music? Do I need to educate myself on what's going on? Do I need to drop music and then try to educate myself on what's going on while money is just flying everywhere? No. You know what I'm saying? Long as I trust in me and what I can deliver, I know once I get through and I'm ready to rock, 
It's go time. It's go time. It's go mode. It's go mode. It's go mode. It's go mode. No it's doubt. Gonna take off. You bring it all the way full circle. Snooty Wild is here. The Black Definitely Bay Roof. Holla at us, man. The Black Bay Roof. Nothing but hits. Now listen, we're going to get a performance out of Snooty. We're going to get into some new music. Hannah, I know you're not a jukebox, but my man, he's always on the check-in. So we're going to get... What's he got? Uh, he wanna, I got to find his name, though. He want to hear that um that Fetty Wap and Snoop Dogg joint. So okay. we're going to get that popping for my man. We can make that happen. Yeah, Dodge Kid 28. Shout out to Dodge Kid. Always on the check-in and all that. So we're gonna Make that happen. Hannah is here. Snooty is here. She tour got tour. Ray, let's get it. Hey. <laughs> it's a live in studio event, y'all. Listen, man, this is Hip Hop Nation bringing you straight hip hop hits, period. We had to swing the tour out to Memphis today. My guy, Snooty Wireless, here. What up, Snooty? Hey, hey, what it do, world? Y'all know it is New York, man. I'm out here, man. Be out here for another couple of days working. So, man, y'all come and check me out. Ladies, I'm out here. Ladies, <laughs> listen, understand. If you ain't got no feelings, come see Snooty. He gonna take care of you. I was gonna say, he was all singing. She ain't got no feelings, but I'm skirting through all my emotions right now when Snooty's in the building. <laughs> Let me tell you what. <laughs> now, you, hey, you just hey, perform. Man. you just perform. Perform some joint. You guys can talk discuss that off air. Off air, um, off air. <laughs> you perform the um the Beetlejuice joint. Right. Talk to me about the record, the concept, the premise, well, the content. Well, you already know, man. Like I said, I'm gonna say it again, man. Anybody that ain't, ain't dealing with their double cup style phone, they ain't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. You know, uh, you know, it went from it went from lean to yellow to yellow to lean to red. So these days they mixing it up with the green. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I can't keep up with it, so we just mix it up and call it Beetlejuice. Just call it Beetlejuice. You know what I'm saying? We just mix it all up and call it Beetlejuice, because once you get on it, man, it's showtime. No, Now, of course, a, a lot of people, and it's a culture, and I know you know a lot of people that are partaking, but you did mention uh, ASAP Yams on the joint, and you did mention Pimp C on the joint. Do you feel like there's um, any responsibility of the artist to... Um, not censor themselves per se, but just to talk about both sides of what can come out of drinking. And most definitely, that's 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 the whole point of me dropping it that way. You know what I'm saying? Because not just to speak on it, fire as it being cool, but watch how you do it and watch what you do. Because some of fact, you know what I'm saying? These two cats, you know, they they did what they did, they did what they wanted to do. But it's how you, it ain't what you do, it's how you do. It, Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want nobody else coming up. You know what I'm saying? Being another pimp C. Or ASAP Yam So of course I'm going to deliver that And make sure to remind the people That this is a dangerous drug As, as well If you if you abuse it you Absolutely I mean? Clap it up for Clap it up for that man Just putting some responsibility in, Into the music as well man Now Um you know, Snooty, before for you being off the scene for a little bit, the la- one of the last times I saw you, you were talking about loving hip hop, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? Love hip hip love hip hop was talking about me. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so what whatever went down with that? Uh, you know, it, it's it's a lot of people on, on different cats that, you know, so I didn't talk to, you know what I'm saying? I, uh I was friends with and I So guess- you smashed a bunch of cast mates is what you're saying. <laughs> nah. In layman's terms for y'all for y'all who couldn't <laughs> couldn't follow along. Nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. But other than that, you know, and, and my name got brung up in a couple of interviews. You know? Okay. Uh, I guess when they about to restart the show, you know what I'm saying? You know, they give out the interviews and, and my name was, was brought up uh, more than a different occasion. She was like, I was with Snooty last night. No. She was like, girl, me too. <laughs> they was like, get Snooty on the phone. <laughs> Mona was like, Skype him in right now. <laughs> no, nah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, now nah, we, we turned it down a couple of times until we just really... Want to know what we want to do with it, you know what I'm saying? Go with it far as my career. Right. You know what I'm I just don't want to jump into anything because, you know, it can make you or break you. So True you got to be careful what you're doing out here. You just can't take every chick that get thrown in your face. And Absolutely. You can't put yourself in every predicament, you know what I'm saying? Because it might not be the right one. Absolutely. Listen, Snooty Wilds is not a fool out here, B. He's definitely understanding the music <laughs> business. He's understanding marketing. He's understanding branding. He's understanding that everything ain't for everybody. Right. It's smart. I, I want to ask, too, because you were talking about it before. Like, you take a step back when people are putting all this pressure on you to follow up after a record that's so big. Like, is that hard for you to sit back and be like, man, I have to take a beat from this. This record is so huge. Yeah. You were talking about getting the money and the fame thrown at you. Right. And then to have actively pulled back from that, like, yeah. that would aggravate me. But for you as an artist, how uh, does well, that feel? You know, um, I think God built me for this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I've been incarcerated for four years, so I'm automatically uh, built to not get comfortable with anything. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So if I feel like it's important for me to do what I need to do to next time this going to come around, it come around the right way and it get done the right way, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. You know, I'm not I'm not afraid to 
fall back and step back into the lane and let them know who can cone around here. Yeah, you know absolutely. Saying? Because ain't nobody jumping off the stage more than me. <laughs> ain't nobody hitting the crowd, showing the crowd love as they perform more than me. And then not you're not going to see too many people like that, you know, because you got to have a heart for that. You know what I'm saying? It just it's music is pain to me. I don't know for anybody else it might be joy, it might be fun, but for me it's pain because where I come from, so I deliver pain to my music. So me, I'm King Kong, and whatever I want to do, I'm going to do. If I want to fall back and educate myself and be an intelligent uh, entrepreneur, that's what I'm going to be. Absolutely. And when I want to step back into this music game, because music comes from the soul, music comes from the energy, and, and, and your fans are going to feel it anyway if it's good music. Dr dope sell itself. True right? indeed. Sure indeed. Ain't never seen no commercials for dope. No. Well, you got to let them know <laughs> what block it's on and they going to pull up. Listen, Snooty is here, like he said, man. When it's time for him to come back to it, he's right back with a lot of dope music. We're going to let Hannah get into something. We're going to chop it up with Snooty yeah. one more time before we go. It's Hip Hop Nation, baby. Stay on the tour. It's a live in studio event, y'all. My guy Snooty Wild is here. Ooh, Hannah ooh, one, ooh. Hannah Rad is on the one. Hannah two. one, Hannah one, Hannah two, Hannah Rad. That's total radness. Yo, I love uh, that T-shirt. Uh, Thank you. Does Young Metro Hannah trust Hannah. you? Young? I don't know. Does he trust you? He better trust he me. He better. He better. It's on my chest. That means something. <laughs> no Hannah, doubt. Hannah, Hannah Red six is hell though. Oh, Go on. Tell me more. <laughs> I told y'all we it. can do this off <laughs> the air now. To, to to segue into that, what is this talk I hear about you having a modeling agency, Snooty Wild? A modeling agency? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, my team, yeah, your models. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, nah, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, I just uh, uh, shout out to Kimberly for that, man. She's out of California. Uh, uh -huh. She's seen a bunch of females uh, just reaching out to me, reaching out to me, reaching out to me. So, you know, we came up with, with an idea of having, having a modeling modeling agency, you know what I'm saying, for 10 yeah, your models, and it helps them to be able to get in my videos, uh, they done been in some boosted videos, uh, they can come up here to the tour guide and dance around the studio they, they if need be, man, half naked if need to be, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it's, it's just to get them exposure and help them and help my brand as well, you that's know very dope, so everything is a business with me, man, you know what I'm saying, like, anything I do, I'm gonna conduct it as a business, you know what I'm saying, and I treat it as a business, so, y'all look out for the 10 yeah, your models, you know what I'm saying? Coming real soon. Just got built up. Like, we got some beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't mix mix pleasure with Right, business, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. But we got some dope women on the team. So, hey, you know, shout out to team. Yeah, yo, model. That's what it is. Now, every good business, Snooty, needs a lot of great interns. And I'm volunteering to intern for Team Yeah Yo Model. So y'all hit me, DM me on Instagram, send me those pictures first, and then, you know what I mean, I'll make sure everything else gets yeah, situated. Yeah. <laughs> now, before you go, man, shout out to my whole team over there at Double XL. Make sure y'all check out that great Hip Hop Debates podcast we're doing. Let me ask you about never being a Double XL freshman, because I know a lot of people asked about it, and you know you had a, a, a fire entry to the game, and a lot of people was looking for you to be on that. Talk to me about the omission, or did you turn it down, or what happened with it? Um, you know, you know, things happen, man. You know what I'm saying? You you getting too busy, you get caught up in the line light, you get caught up in the street life, you know. You 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 miss out on things that you regret, you know what I'm saying? And with double XL there's no there's no beef with it, it's no it's no harm, there's no foul done, you know. It's business, you know what I'm saying? Some things, you know, be under the table. We're gonna keep it like that. Absolutely. Other than that, I still want the people to go check out online premiere new hip hop. Beetlejuice will be dropping tomorrow, the world premiere. And y'all check it out, man. Beetlejuice is what it is. Yeah, that That's Beetlejuice is crazy. All, we we gonna run that one more crew. time before we get up out of here. Hey. Judy Wiles is here. The album is coming sooner than later. He's working right now. He right back. He back to being focused. Whoop, whoop. He's still picking up money. I can tell by his pendant and his bezel. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all know what it is, man. Follow me on IG, Snooty Wild, man. On Twitter, Snooty Wild. You can catch me out there just lighting it up, man. Just count 100 bands the other day, man. You know what I'm saying? Playing with it. My brother. Birthday was next was last week, so that's why. You know oh, what happy I'm belated, man! I appreciate that. April twenty third is my birthday, so copped a new uh, two thousand sixteen Range Rover because they said I needed a truck. I had too many sport cars out there, so Snooty out here getting to <laughs> it, man. I ain't mad at it. You know how we do it. It's Hip Hop Nation. We gonna let Hannah get back into the music. Straight hip hop hits. Period. That's what we got for y'all. Mm -hmm.